Welcome back to NT Center for your penultimate spring training NT Center recap. It's the fourth of five weeks of spring training. And hey, I know it's only spring training, but how about a thrilling extra inning game to whet your appetite for the regular season? That's what we got when the Family Madrigal took on the Baby Yodas. And now Family Madrigal jumped out to a 4 nothing lead after two, and they led 6-2 to two heading into the seventh. But as we all know, if there's one person who can't manage a bullpen, it's Judge Judy. If there's two, it's whoever DP4M is hired to be his manager for the season. Long story short, Mandalore Baby Yodas get a four-run seventh. We end up going into the 10th inning. Buck Ewing gets a leadoff double in the 10th. He scores. He puts Family Madrigal up seven to six. But Lou Boudreaux, not an outfielder, by the way, answers with a two-out double to score the tying run in the bottom of the 10th. We'd go all the way to the 13th inning. Jesus Christ, somebody really should implement the ability to have ties in spring training so we don't wear out pitchers' arms, but whatever. 13th inning, that's when George Gore would hit a one-out homer, put the Family Magical back on top, and this time they'd stay there. Harry Breachin struck out a pair for the scoreless inning of work, and he got the save. Let's go around the league and look at the calendar for some other great performances how about another one from Hilton Smith, a bright spot for Sithy in spring training. He tosses five and two thirds innings of scoreless work. He strikes out 10, gives up one hit and walks a batter. Scott Stratton, also a phenomenal start. One hit, five innings pitched, no runs allowed, six strikeouts. You want two teammates in the same game having a great day? How about this one? Booker McDaniel, five shutout innings. He allows three hits in that one. And then Ross Barnes, apparently playing the role of Stevie Ray in this one, got three hits and scored three runs and walked twice all in the same game. Dean Chance got a quality start for the Steel Tiger Cranes, giving them five shutout two-hit innings as he struck out seven. Elsewhere, Yadier Molina with a three-for-three three day at the plate, including a homer, providing a bright spot for Stone Temple Seattle Pilots. Dave Parker. He had a game. He was a man possessed for Game of Throws. He drove in four runs against the Orange Barrels. And one more to highlight, George Brett with a two-homer game for the Pilots against Northern Shores. Thinking about team performance, not sure why you'd care, but apparently some people do. Stone Temple, Seattle Pilots, and Amazings, they paced the league with their 16-8 and eight records. The other division, you got Game of Thrones sitting at 15-9 and nine to pace the Sandlot division. We got two teams, every city, every city bandwagoners and these I-75 orange barrels. They're at the other end of the spectrum. They're the only teams not winning at least a third of their game. Let's look at some of the overall spring training superlatives. Paul Wehner, he's your new leader in batting. He's hitting at a 479 clip right now. Archie Vaughn continues to show power at the plate, pacing spring training with seven homers and Joe DiMaggio continues to lead spring training in RBI. He's up to 20. Billy Hamilton's already got eight steals in spring training, folks. He might, he might have Ricky's record in his aim this season. Some limited games, but Andre Dawson right now has got a 1786 OPS in spring training. Whoo, look out. He could be a man on fire this season. Some good news for Amazing B. Chris Hoyle still leads the league in strikeouts. He's now sitting at 45. He's basically striking out three times per five at bats. And again, I suggest, I think he's just trying to get a job catching for the 2022 Cleveland Guardians. Lou Boudreau, Alex Bregman, what brings their names together? They're tied for the league lead and hitting into double plays at four. Also at the bottom of the barrel, George Bradley, currently the, the player with the most at bats, 18 without a hit. And Salvador Perez, who's batting 043, has the worst batting average among players who actually have gotten a hit. Let's look at the pitchers, and we'll start with Babe Ruth, the pitcher, obviously. He's tossed 12 scoreless innings so far in spring training, and he also leads spring training in whip at 0.42. Rick Sutcliffe is the new recognized leader in batting average against, sporting a spiffy 0.89 BAA. Look out. No, no, really, look out. Josh Donaldson hit another batter this week, bringing his spring training total to seven. 
Uh, Doc Gooden tripled his walk total this week. He went from one walks to three. So our new leader in walks per or strikeouts per walk is Zach Granke, sporting a ratio of 24. Not so hot in that category, Ali Reynolds, who's walked 13 and struck out 19. Oof. Uh, Mike Mussina, he's given up nine homers in just 14 and a third innings pitched. Uh, fun fact here, in 1996, Mussina tossed his personal high of 243.1 innings pitched. If he kept up the rate he's currently got in spring training over that many innings, he'd serve up about 152 dingers on the season. And I don't know about you, but I kind of want to see him do it. Let's update you on a few injuries. We, we finally got word on that injury to Lave Cross over on the mother boy, or not the mother boys, that's the old name, Mandalore Baby Yoda's. It's a hamstring strain. He's out for five weeks. Uh, Cy Seymour of a shack of their own has got hamstring tendonitis. He's out for a week. His teammate, George Sizzler, is not going to Sizzler anytime soon. He's got a torn meniscus and he's going to be out for four months. I imagine to get some sympathy for himself, he'll be watching old tapes of Steve Borden to occupy that time. George, take it from me. Skip the one with RoboCop. Last one, uh, Frankie Frisch of Amazing made me break out WebMD on this one. Uh, I thought Out of the Park might have been making this one up, but apparently they're not. It's a real thing. He's out six to seven weeks with bone marrow edema in his knee. That's it for this week. We got one more spring training recap coming your way. Hopefully your team's doing as well as you hope. And if not, remember, it's only fucking spring training.